well, how amazing. Just on 55 years of unbroken research on the chimpanzees of Gombe, and thinking back over these 55 years, I think one of the amazing things is the change. Of course, when I arrived, the chimpanzees had never seen a white ape before, and they would take one look and, and vanish, and then, well, we all know the story, they gradually became used to people, and I could collect information about them. And, but at the beginning, I just had a notebook and a pencil, occasionally a pen, but in the wet season, the pen didn't work. And gradually, as the years went by, we became a little more sophisticated. We used check sheets, uh, we used tape recorders, and then video cameras were introduced. And of course, meanwhile, National Geographic was sending out photographers and film teams, so information was getting out to the general public, and I was writing books. But the main thing is, if I think of it now, the difference in technology is so extraordinary. So students are using tablets and iPads and things like this, and you can collect a little sample of uh, dung, of chimpanzee poo, and from it you can tell about the uh, DNA of that particular individual. So we now know who the fathers are. Before that we could only guess. And we learn other things from fecal samples as well, particularly as it concerns health. And the first time I flew over Gombe in a small plane in the late 80s was a real shock because outside the park the forest had gone. And at one time it was contiguous forest from Kigoma all the way around through Burundi, curling around into Congo. And that was when I realized that unless we worked with the people around Gombe, there was no way we could even try to save these famous chimpanzees. And so our Takari Take Care program was born and improving the lives of the people in a holistic way so that in turn they have become our partners. They've become village forest monitors. And even guys who perhaps never learned to read and write as children are using these sophisticated uh, our tablets and iPads and things of that sort to monitor the change in the forest. The forests are coming back. Chimpanzees have three times more forest than they had when we began the program. And not only do we have this sophisticated technology in the field, but we can do emails right here from Gombe. When I came for the first time, it was three weeks before you could get a reply to a letter you sent out, and now it's instantaneous. And finally, I suppose, working with, first of all, Esri, and then Digital Globe, and Google Earth, and now NASA, so we can get all the details of everything that's going on around Gombe, as well as keeping up the records of these amazing chimpanzees. There's not many left that I know really well, but good old Gremlin is here with daughter Gaia and their growing family, including Google and Gimli and, and some of the F family as well. So being back here in Gombe is very special, but mostly it's extraordinary to think that we're still here after all this time. And hopefully we continue to stay, continue to chart the lives of these chimpanzees using whatever new technology comes along, providing it doesn't disturb them. So that's my message from Gombe, the Gombe 55th anniversary.